Hey everyone, today I will show you how to install the XBMC app on all iOS devices. But first, we need to get the needed add-ons. Go to this website, appletvhacks.net, because they have an article about the 10 best add-ons for the XBMC app. Just check out the video description for the link to this website. I haven't tried all of these add-ons yet, but I highly recommend a couple that I find really useful. First one is called Ice Films. And the other one is called One Channel. Let's download the Ice Films add on first. Just click here, and after downloading the zip file, just close the window and do the same thing for the One Channel add on and download the zip file. Now that you have downloaded the add ons, you need to transfer them to your iOS device. You can either attach the files to an email and send it to yourself. Or if you have a Dropbox account, you can upload the zip files there and then access them on your iOS device. Next, on your jailbroken iOS device, you need to open up Cydia and add the repository for the XBMC app in order for you to download it. Once you added the repository, you can now install the XBMC app. Next, we need to install one more app. It's called iFile. So just install this one and you're all set. Now, if you sent the zip files through an email, open the mail app and open the zip files using iFile. But in my case, I uploaded the zip files to my Dropbox account. So all I need to do is open up the Dropbox app and search for the zip file that I just uploaded. However, Dropbox cannot open the file, so I will use iFile to open the zip file. By the way, don't unzip the files yet because we want to leave it as a zip file. By default, the zip file is downloaded in var slash mobile slash documents. So you may leave these files here and browse for them later on the XBMC app. Or you can just cut and paste the zip files in the app's home folder, which is var slash mobile. This way you don't have to browse for those files. Okay, we're all set here. Now let's load the XBMC app. Go to settings, then add-ons. Then select install from zip file, then choose home folder, then browse wherever you save the zip file. But for me, they're all here in the home folder. Next, tap the file to install it. Then a pop-up will appear that lets you know that the file was enabled. Next, let's install the other add-on. And there we go, it's enabled. Next, let's go back to the main screen. Tap on videos, then video add-ons. I already have the two installed in here, but if you're doing this for the first time, you must click on get more. Click on one channel. Right now, this says uninstall, but if you're doing this for the first time, it will say install. So just click that and it will start to download the add-on to the XBMC app. Next, do the same thing for the Ice Film add-on. Now that you have installed the two add-ons, let's go ahead and try out the one channel add-on. First, let's try out one of the TV shows. Let's choose Saving Hope. The video and audio quality is really, really great. I have to remove the audio to avoid getting flagged by YouTube. I have used this app to watch all my favorite TV shows like Breaking Bad, Dexter, and Game of Thrones. So now let's try out the movie section. Let's choose Hangover 2. And there you go, this movie is in DVD quality. However, not all movies are like this one. For example, Snow White and the Huntsman is a new movie, so the video and audio quality is just okay. It's still watchable, but it's not as good as the other ones. So that's it for this video. I find this app really useful because my cable does not have all the channels that I want. So I use this one to watch my favorite TV shows, as well as watch movies that just came out. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.